Hello everyone. Welcome to the Google Cloud video learning series. My name is Lou Delatore. I'm a customer engineer at Google Cloud. And today I'll show you how to export logs from Google Cloud Logging to BigQuery. Here I am in the Google Cloud console. You can quickly find the BigQuery service by typing BigQuery in the search products and resources field, and then selecting BigQuery. In the navigation pane, in the resources section, select your project. On the right side of the window, in the details panel, click create data set. In the create data set window, under data set ID, enter a unique name. In data location, accept the default, which is US. In default table expiration, select number of days after table creation, and I'll enter seven. Under encryption, accept the default Google managed key and select create data set. Next, we'll want to turn on audit logging for all services. By default, data access audit logs are disabled, except for BigQuery. In order to enable all audit logs, we'll need to first download the current IAM policy as a file, then add the audit log policy YAML object to the current policy file, then update our project with the updated policy. I'll demonstrate how to configure your project's data access audit logs using the G Cloud command and Google Cloud Console. First, open the Cloud Shell by clicking on Activate Cloud Shell. Then read the project's IAM policy and store it in a file by running this command. Click on Authorize Cloud Shell if prompted. Then edit the policy file stored in temp slash policy.yaml using VI and add the data access audit logs configuration. Be sure to preserve the bindings and e-tag sections without changes, otherwise you might cause your project to become unstable. Save and exit the file. Then write the new IAM policy to the project by running this command. Next, we'll need to refine the logging filters to export audit logs, including admin activity and data access audit logs. You could also enable logs for specific resource types if you like. We'll use the gcloud logging syncs create command to create a sync called gcp underscore logging underscore sync underscore bq for the project by running this command. In the service account entry returned from the API call, the identity is included in the response. This identity represents a Google Cloud service account that has been created for the export. Until you grant this identity right access to the destination, log entry exports from the sync will fail. So let's go ahead and copy the identity. To add the permissions to the service account, select the data set, in my case, GCP underscore logging underscore export, and select share data set. In the Add Members field, paste the service account that we just copied. Then select a role, select BigQuery, and BigQuery Data Editor to provide the permissions necessary. Click Add, and click Done. After you create the logging export by using this filter, log files begin to populate the BigQuery dataset in the configured project. 
you can now run a broad range of queries against the audit logs to better understand who is accessing data in Google Cloud. Or you can use a tool like Google Data Studio to help you visualize the data. Well, that concludes the demo. Please stay tuned for future videos on how to use other components of the Google Cloud Operations Suite as well as other services. Have a great day!